All right, it's January 9th, 8.30 a.m. I'm going, I'm starting out again to go to the bank, get my document notarized. That was notarized incorrectly. I started out just a few minutes ago. I got as far as the corner, realized I didn't have the forms. I forgot them. So I went back, got the forms. Justin's coming out. It seems like it's a lot colder than it was a couple minutes ago when I was out here. And the weather reports at 28 degrees. Anyway, so uh, I came out, turned on my camera, and uh, it went off. <laughs> so basically, I deleted what I had, the, the couple minutes I had on there, and I started all over again. Uh, now I feel hot. It's like, like I said, extreme swings of temperature all the time. Yeah, take your time, good night, this one. Okay, I'm going down. Going down, Holly. Oh, so now, now I feel hot. I have a jacket. Sweatshirt jacket on and my usual blue coat. Yeah. With uh, by by the way the uh, the masking tape job of course all the masking tape came off. So um, you know I was gonna do a. So well, let me do it while I'm walking here. It'll save me the trouble. Uh, you'll have to find the exact points. Oh, now it's starting to snow a little bit. I said I, I said a viewer's guide to uh, food bank fight number two, January eighth. Food bank fight number two. Well, there are a couple things. Uh, the main the main thing I want to emphasize the guy Frank Weig, W E A G. Uh, he was like the guy in charge and he's the one who threw me out or, you know, he's been there before. Uh, he bears a physical resemblance to my father in that he's short in stature, has a pot belly, he's older. All the times I've seen him he's wearing an orange short sleeve polo shirt, short sleeve orange polo shirt. The time way back when, in uh, the summertime, I first started going there. And they asked me, uh, well, where do you live? How far away do you live? And I said, four miles. He was the one who said, well, we'll, we'll drive you home. Well, uh, I'll drive you home. Don't worry about it. And I had said no at that time. Anyway, he was the one I had to fight with. And you heard the woman, the woman with the southern accent. And she always stands by the door. She's like stationed at the door. I, I never knew her name. And I thought on the tape, when I asked her, uh, it sounded like she said Ellen Ross. But then you hear me say Nellie Ross. So what her name is, I don't know, Nellie, Ellen, I don't know. But she's always stationed at the door. Uh, and she was the one who was, you hear saying, uh, you're not cooperating with us. People aren't as nasty as you, blah, blah, blah. And so, uh, then, uh, so what I wanted to note, 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 note <laughs> was, you see, and it was a little goof, right? I was sitting at the, the table. Well, you saw the table in the front. The woman in, in the glasses. Well, she's always there. And that's where you sign in. And, uh, the sign-in sheet. And then, you know, in the order that you come in, she calls your name up. You go up there, sign, sign some paperwork. And your, your food sheet that you filled out with what food you want, she puts a number on it. The number that of, of when you're going to be called. Which is the same as when you sign in, right? 
Well, because it's the first uh, food bank of the new year, um, you had to show your credentials again. So that's where you saw me sitting in the back. Well, you didn't see me sitting there, but there was a table in the back of the room uh, where, where I showed the teddy bear. That's around 18 minutes or so in the tape. And you know, it just seemed like it was like ripe for the picking. So I filmed the teddy bear. And then I noticed that you can see it briefly. Later on when I'm sitting in front and the camera pans to the right and there's like a black man walking with a cane and the teddy bear that I had filmed is sitting there in the front seat right next to the black man walking by. So, you know, those are just things I'm pointing out. And then later on, you, do you see somebody else sitting there, a, woman, a heavy woman, in a wet jacket with an orange shirt, tail sticking out the bottom. But you don't see the teddy bear anymore. So, <laughs> What else? So, um, oh, the guy, there's a guy who calls all the numbers. He was the guy in the plaid shirt. Uh, an older guy, he didn't really seem too good. He, uh, when I was walking down the, because I showed you the food sheet and it said coffee, it said decaf and tea. I was asking him, I was holding the camera sideways and I said, you just have decaf. Well, you see his plaid shirt. Just his plaid shirt, however. Earlier than that, uh, you, you get a glimpse of him talking to somebody. Oh, see, all the fucking cars are coming. You get a glimpse of him talking to somebody. Uh, uh, briefly, I turn around. So, uh, so let me just clear up. Oh, for Grand, Grand Central Station. All right, I gotta cross the other side. All right, so um, I'll just clear up some of the dialogue a little bit that I can remember. Uh, first of all, in terms of the layout, and I didn't show this, but remember when video uh, I'm showing the photo. You can see on the boys and it says space indoors, an hour of sharing, something like that. And then I show the fire extinguisher and then I show the cell phones for soldiers. Well right there, that's the hallway. stairs right to the left that go downstairs that's where the food pantry is where you get the food so I think you heard some thumping like people going up and down stairs that's what they're doing they go up and down stairs to the food pantry so ordinarily go down there there's a shopping cart with your food in it you wheel it into another room get whatever bread produce items that you can pick yourself and then carry it all up to your car. That's the usual way you do things. So, there had been, uh, I'll go back, you know, you can find it. So, the first time I filled, so, so I guess we're going back to November 13th or 14th, that particular time of last year, whatever day Thursday was. It was the first time I filmed the first morning show. However, I
was like the past two times in a row. I said, okay. So I didn't stand there. So I got in the habit. Because you can see how if they're gathering your order at the front, you know, and the, and the stairs are down there, and you're sitting in a big, you know, room of people, they don't really know you from Adam, per se. They know they're doing 20, 21, whatever number they're doing. And I'm in kind of a, you know, I went, I mean, I want to get going, so uh, I want to stand there by the front entrance. Uh, to see, you know, the guy come up or whatever, and so I can get in my, my paper and get it right away. I didn't go down. That was all. And the point is, I did it the past couple times. No problem. Now, all of a sudden, uh, you can't do it. If you do it, everybody's going to want to do it. Uh, it's a fire hazard. I'm going to call the police and they're going to escort you out of here. Oh, well, all of a sudden, I did it before and nobody said boo. Right? Anyway, for the person to sit, I sat in that chair one time. Nobody else was around. And somebody came out of an office. There's an office off the hallway and said, You can't sit there. You're not allowed. You know? So, anyway, as far as part of the place, that was it. Not that I messed up my feet. But he said to me, the room. Will you do that for me? And I said basically, uh, something about, oh I guess it's a kindergarten and you're a kindergarten teacher or something like that. Something about that. You don't hear that at all. I walked out and my camera was off. My camera was off because it was in my handbag and I looked and it was off. I didn't know at what time it had gone off. So I just tried to make a little thing. I'm leaving without food, you know. But Are you 21? She said, are you 21? What number are you? Are you 21? Something like that. She was the one who initiated the whole thing. Well, you can't stand here. You know, 
I just get sick of this BS. You know, it is so petty and stupid. You know, but as long as I'm here and uh, doing this, I guess that's the way it is. You know, I can live without that food bank to tell you the truth. I really don't want to go to any food bank. Uh, but I'll live without that one. There's nothing so great about that one. And it's too far. It's too far. For, for nothing. And I really think, you know, the people are, I, I don't think those people, I don't think they're against me. I don't think, you know, I don't think anybody around here is against me. Um, it's a long walk and uh, Alright, never mind, just say it's a long walk. Um, maybe they don't think I need to walk that long. But anyway, put it this way, I don't think those people are against me. I don't think it's that they don't want to give me food. I don't think that. And I think nobody's going to say that, but you know, so what? Yeah, I'm glad I did actually. That place, that particular food bank, was the most annoying. I mean, the other ones, you just go, you just go, and that's it. And that when you sit around, sit around forever. Uh, oh, I know, okay. The other dialogue I wanted to clear up. Uh, a Frank had said to me at one point, go uh, in the other room, would you do that for me? So I go in there and the guy in the plaid shirt who calls the numbers, I had said to him, you can barely hear this, what number are you on? He said 17. I said, when are you gonna get to 21? He said, I'll get to it when I get to it. That was all. So, so that's it. And then he came out, out to the front entrance way. He's talking to somebody else. And he said, she asked me, when am I going to get to 21? I told her I'll get to it when I get to it. And the other thing about filming, you know, I think this might have to do with filming, but what I'm going to do, out of an abundance of caution, is not film in the bank. Uh, I'll film in the shop, right? oh yeah, right. Yeah, they want to catch me in the bank. I'll, I'll film in the shop, right, okay? I'll film in the shop, right, not in the bank. Turning it off. In the bank. Putting it away. Now there's birds flying by, if you can see, up in the sky. Yeah, the one point when I say, who is that woman? The hell one was that? Was it yesterday or the day before? I can't remember. I'm walking down South Bayview and I say, um, I bet you won't see that. Well, there are a bunch of birds flying it off of the pond in the frozen water in the swamp immediately to my left as I was walking down South Bayview. I didn't think I saw that, but if, if anything's changed, I mean, you know, it is. It's too much. I mean, what can I do about it anyway? So I just want to get back 
fast. I'm going to the shop, right? Like I said, my the money's in there. Of course, there's not too much I can get. And I want to just get in and get out of the shop, right? Get back, send in this paperwork. The remaining paperwork. Oh, and the fire thing, and I said there was nothing on the news, well, I'm guessing it was some kind of a controlled burn type of thing that they do for whatever reasons they do, but it obviously wasn't any, you know, uncontrolled uh, blaze or, you know, threat to, you know, safety or anything because there was nothing about it. Some sort of planned controlled burn. Oh yeah, <laughs> and you, uh, I filmed, another thing interesting, I had filmed, I told you I filmed my food sheet that you fill out, and it had pancakes and syrup, yeah. Just after I filmed that part, the guy who uh, calls the numbers came up and said, we're out of pancake syrup. You hear that on the tape. I'm not sure where it is. I have to leave you to find these particular markers. I know a little bit of it. I know like from 11, around 11 minutes to around 18. I had it in my pocket. Then I think you see the teddy bear sitting in the chair. Then I put it back and then the rest of it, I'm not too sure. Yeah, you have to uh, figure it out yourself. So now it doesn't feel as cold.
So, you know, as far as stuff I still have, I mean, I still have, first of all, when I got home last night, I still had some potatoes from the faith community. You know, I had some potatoes and I made some bread, but it didn't, you know, this bread that I used to like, the bake your own from the faith community, but now it has a funny aftertaste and it kind of repeats on you anyway, I made some of that. I didn't really like that too much. This morning I had some toasted, uh, oh, what was it called? Deli Flats. Oh, Deli Flats. Yeah. And, uh, A week or so ago at the faith community. A couple of them were moldy. Just like two of them were moldy, but that was it. So I've got mashed potatoes. I've got macaroni and cheese. No, instant mashed potatoes. Macaroni and cheese. Uh, I've got bread up the kazoo. I've got jelly, peanut butter, you know, rice. I have a lot of stuff. Oh, it's just, can you see it's snowing? It's snowing a little more. That was spaghetti. have some cereal. The cereal I get also has like, it kind of repeats on you, you know, like in a way that's, uh, that's a funny aftertaste. The, I have a uh, Laura Lynn toasted oats. Where did I get that from? Uh, uh, which one was that? Um, I think that was the, uh, St. Barnabas, I think. And then the, uh, some kind of peanut butter cocoa puffs or something that I got from Faith Community. Which, or now they would like. But it just, I don't know. That's a funny taste. You know, it sort of like stays in your mouth. It's sort of unappetizing. I, I can't really describe it. So I don't really, like, so I got the BIOS password off, I wrote that, but now there's a thing where you can restart the computer, you get a screen that says, it'll go, uh, it'll do a check this scan, but then the next eight seconds, can't press any key to cancel this. So I've been canceling this, uh, canceling it. Because I went on, the other day I went on the Dell website to try to get all driver updates uh, for my computer. I think I got most of them. But there's something wrong, something wrong in terms of the disk partitions. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to mess around with it because... <laughs> Yeah, then I'll be offline. I won't be able to start this job.
Oh, you're barren, son. Oh, those are the people who came to my house after Hurricane Sandy. The electric walls. Contractors. Yeah. I'm gonna walk around the back just because it's uh <laughs> well, we'll just see if that uh that's a graveyard is the same. I'm just going this way because it's sidewalk, but might as well check that out. This is it. Oh, it says Daddy Earl. Mommy J. Virginia and Daddy Earl. Oh. I don't know what that says. Grooms? That says grooms. Oh. Alright. Oh, so where's the flag? That's the flag I was talking about. What place is that? Oh, CWR Electronics. Whatever that is. You can't even see the flag. It's behind the tree. That's the one they filmed the other day.
Yeah, we'll do the truck, I'll run the truck again. You know, man, you get it. Oh, this place is open already. Berkeley Diner. Berkeley. Berkeley Diner is open. Okay, you know, like I said, I'm closing down this camera. I'm not filming in the bank. I'm going to the bank now. And, uh, I'll resume in the South Ray parking lot. So what time is it now? Quarter after nine. This is 41 minutes and 34 seconds.